In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the liquidation value. So just like the book value, the liquidation value is used to value common stock. So what is the value for ordinary shareholders of their interest in a company? The liquidation value can be calculated on a total basis as well as on a per share basis. The starting point for the calculation of the liquidation value is the same as the calculation for the book value. So to work out the total liquidation value, it would be your owner's equity is equal to what's left over of your assets after having paid the liabilities. And obviously to work it out on a per share basis, you take that owner's equity that you calculated and you divide it by the number of shares. Now let's make use of an example to understand the differences between the calculation of a book value versus the calculation of a liquidation value. So let's say on the statement of financial position, there's land of a thousand rand according to the books. There's machinery worth a thousand rand as well according to the books. There's cash worth 500. There's short-term debt, let's call it accounts payable, worth 300. And there is a long-term loan worth 800. So as we know, land is an asset, machinery is an asset, cash is an asset, accounts payable is a liability, and a long-term loan is also a liability. So if we were calculating the total book value of an equity stake in this company, this equity would be equal to your assets minus your liabilities. You have land worth a thousand rand, machinery worth a thousand rand, and cash worth 500 rand. You take away your liabilities, which is your accounts payable of 300 rand, and your long term loan of 800 rand. So the total assets amount to 2,500 and your total liabilities amount to 1,100. And therefore, the total equity stake according to the book value valuation model is 2,500 minus 1,100, and that gives you 1,400. Now let's calculate the value of an equity stake in this business or in this company by looking at the liquidation value. But the calculation, as we've said, or the starting point of the calculation, as we've said, is similar or is the same as the calculation for the book value. The difference between the book value and the liquidation value is that the book value takes the value of the assets as they are according to the books. The liquidation value, on the other hand, doesn't take the values of the assets as they are in the books. It looks at the market value of the assets. So if the company had to be liquidated now, these assets that the company has on its books, how much could they be sold for? What is the market value? What is the liquidation value of those assets? So let's say that the land that you have on your books that you bought for a thousand rand is no longer worth a thousand rand. It's appreciated over the years and is now worth 2,100. That's how much you can get for it if you were to sell it right now. The machinery, on the other hand, are stated at a carrying value of 1,000 Rand, but if you had to sell them now, you could only get, say, 800 Rand for them because people put a discount on machinery that's already been used. Your cash stays the same at 500. Your accounts payable is still 300 and the long-term loan is 800. The liquidation value 
is thus equal to the market value of the assets, so it's 2,100, plus 800, plus 500, minus your liabilities of 300 and 800. This gives you a liquidation value, a total liquidation value of 2,300. So in this scenario, the liquidation value was more than your book value. But it could very well happen that the liquidation value is lower than your book value. So in conclusion, the liquidation value is similar to the book value. The difference, however, is how the assets, how the value of the assets are calculated. With the liquidation value, you look at how much these assets could be sold for if the company had to be liquidated today.